with 59 stitchy patterns. It's a big upgrade from the old style sewing machine. You can create a variety of fun projects with this machine. It's suitable for beginner and experienced tailors with high and low speed. Sewing sleeves, automatic thread rewind, button holding, nailing buttons, reverse sewing, overlock, stitch length adjustable, etc. You can use it to change the old clothes and make a unique new one or make yourself a favorite pillow, small clothes for pets or dolls, a cute cup mat, curtains, bags, etc. It will be a good helper for your living. Now, let's look at the parts of the machine. Take up lever, upper thread tension dial, spacing selection dial, pattern selection dial, thread cutter, LED light and the switch, needle clip and screw, bobbin cover plate, detachable drawer, hand wheel, reverse lever, power and speed switch, bobbin winding stopper, Bobbing winder pin, spool pin, bobbing winder tension disc, presser foot lifter, presser foot, foot pedal input, AC or DC power input. Now let's get started to know how to use this machine. Threading the machine. 1. Threading the upper thread. Put the spool on the spool pin with thread tail going counterclockwise. Pull the thread so it passes through the bobbing winder tension disc down through the gap, pull it back up as the arrow shows. Go through the take-up lever, then go through the hole next to the needle clip screw. Easily thread the needle eye by sticking the needle threader through the eye from back to front. Pull the thread out and leave thread tail about 15 cm long. Caution: The needle eye must be threaded from front to back, otherwise the machine may not sew. 2. Replacing the bottom bobbin. Lift the presser foot. Press and slide the bobbin cover off and remove the empty bobbin. Put the new bobbin in the holder, with the thread going clockwise. Hold the needle thread with left hand, and right hand turn the hand wheel counterclockwise slowly. Then the needle thread will pick up the bobbin thread and pull it back through the hole under the needle. Separate the two threads and pull them to the back of the machine under the presser foot, leaving about 15 cm hanging there. Replace the bobbin cover. Caution! Always make sure the bottom thread is picked up from the hole under presser foot with about 15 cm hanging out in clockwise direction before you start to sew. Winding the bobbin. Put a bigger thread spool on the spool bin. Pull the thread out of the spool. Wind it around the bobbin tension guide. Then go through any one of the holes on the empty bobbin. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder pin. Push the bobbin towards the bobbin winding stopper to fix the bobbin. Hold on to the thread, turn on the switch, and step on the foot pedal. After several circles winding on the bobbin, stop and trim the thread tail, then step on the foot pedal again to resume winding. When you have enough thread wood on, release foot pedal to stop winding. Cut off the thread. Push the bobbin to the left, away from the hand wheel, and take the bobbin off. Replacing the needle. 1. Hold the old needle and loosen the needle clap screw. Remove the needle and discard it responsibly. 2. Insert the new needle into the clap with the flat side of the needle towards the presser foot bar and push the needle all the way up. 3. Then tighten the screw. Caution! Always turn off the switch and unplug the adapter before you change the needle. Make sure the new needle faces the right direction and the screw is tightened. Replacing the presser foot. Removing the presser foot, turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to raise the needle to its highest position. Raise the presser foot lifter and press the presser foot locking lever. The presser foot will drop off automatically from the locking device. Attaching the presser foot. Place the presser foot under the presser foot locking device. Lower the presser foot lifter until the cutout is directly above the pin. The presser foot will engage automatically. Caution, if the foot has not been picked up, 
Check to make sure the cutout is directly above the pin of the foot and repeat the steps. Using the adapter and the foot pedal. First, connect the foot pedal jack plug to the foot pedal input socket. Connect the adapter jack plug to the DC input socket and connect the plug pin into the 220 volt or 110 volt power outlet. Turn on the on or off switch. Step on the foot pedal, then the machine will start to sew. Slightly press the pedal to achieve low speed. Press it to the end for a high speed. Using the foot pedal to control the switch to free your hands make the sewing more easier and convenient. Caution! Make sure the adapter and foot pedal are unplugged from the machine when you're not using it, so the sewing machine won't accidentally start up. Sewing 1. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to raise the needle to its highest position. 2. Raise the presser foot lifter and place the fabric you want to sew under the presser foot. 3. Lower the presser foot. 4. Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise two to three circles to make sure there is no jamming in the stitches. 5. Turn on the switch. Step on the foot pedal and the machine will start sewing. We recommend the low speed for beginners. 6. Turn off the switch. Raise the needle to its highest position. Turn the pattern selection dial to set a number to the position of the arrow. The number you choose is correspondingly to the switch beside. Here, I randomly choose 4, 9, 25, 33, 50, 53T to demonstrate. Caution! When you want to change the digi patterns, stop sewing and turn the hand wheel to raise the needle all the way up so it doesn't get bent. Every time turn the hand wheel in counterclockwise direction as the arrow shows. 7. When you finished sewing, release foot pedal and turn off the switch. Unplug the adapter. Turn the hand wheel to raise the needle all the way up. Lift the presser foot and then gently remove the fabric from the sewing machine and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Caution! If it's difficult to remove the fabric, turn the hand wheel to raise the needle up. Then turn the hand wheel back and forth a little bit and gently pull the fabric out. During the sewing, when the thread gets stuck, turn off the switch immediately. Lift the presser foot. Put on the fabric gently. If the fabric is difficult to remove, turn the hand wheel forth and back. If the thread tangled, cut off the thread and put out the fabric. Double check the threading. Make sure each step threading correct. Then start to sew again. Reverse sewing. To sew backwards, press and hold down the reverse level while you're sewing. Caution! You should only use reverse sewing on straight stitches. This is useful for reinforcing the seam sewing sleeves. To remove the drawer, position the garment over the sewing arm, then start to sew. For a step buttonhole sewing, 1. Change the foot to the buttonhole foot. Put the fabric under presser foot and lower down the presser foot lifter. 2. Choose the stitch 15B. Turn on the switch and step on the foot pedal to sew on the fabric in suitable length. Then release foot pedal to stop sewing. 3. Choose the stitch 15AC. Step on the foot pedal and to sew 5 to 6 stitch in low speed, then stop. 4. Choose the stitch 15D to sew the other side in same length, then stop. 5. Choose the stitch 15AC to sew 5 to 6 stitch in low speed, then stop. The buttonhole is done. Nailing button. Change the foot to nail button foot. Put the fabric under the presser foot. Put the button on the fabric when you need to nail the button. Move the fabric with button under presser foot. Check if they are under the right position. Then lower down the presser foot. Choose the stitch 58. Turn the hand wheel slowly, adjusting the position of the button while the needle swinging side to side to make sure the needle will step in the hole of the button. Then turn on switch. Step on the foot pedal to sew 4 to 5 stitch in low speed. Follow the same step to sew the other side. The button attaching is done. If you want to nail cross line or a double line, follow the steps as above. Caution! Before nailing button, you must use hand to turn the hand wheel slowly and make sure the needle will only step into the hole of the button while swinging side to side in case of breaking the needle. 
Make sure the whole distance of the button you choose match the needle swinging space when it's settled at stitch 58 in case of hitting on the button and result in needle break. Adjusting stitching. If the top and bottom thread looks too tight or loose, you can turn the upper thread tension dial to adjust the stitching tense. When the top thread looks like a straight line indicating an over tight top thread, turn the upper thread tension dial to a smaller number to reduce tension. Different fabric with different tension. Turn the tension dial to a smaller number and to the stitching back to normal. When the bottom thread looks like a straight line indicating the top thread is too loose, turn the upper thread tension dial to a bigger number to increase tension. Different fabric with different tension. Turn the tension dial to a bigger number and to the stitching back to normal. Now, in case you have trouble in using the machine, we will go over some common problems and the solutions. Important safety instructions. 1. Always disconnect from the power supply when changing the needle. 2. Children should only use the appliance with adult supervision. 3. Never run the machine when there's a thread in the needle, but no fabric on the machine. This could damage the machine. 4. Don't use the machine outdoors. 5. Whenever the sewing machine is not in use, make sure it is switched off and unplugged from the power supply. 6. Keep the machine in a dry and ventilated place. 7. This machine is not a toy. 8. Don't disassemble the machine unless you are a professional. 9. Turn off switch and unplug the adapter when you're not using the machine.